here, I'm here. And you are there, so don't forget about it. If you like that breakfast b-roll sequence there, make sure to stay for a few more minutes and I'll get you some details how it was shot and edited so you can learn those things and use them in your own videos. Let's go! Woo. Planning. In terms of planning, for this b-roll clip I didn't really plan much except for the list of ingredients. In terms of shooting I just had a general idea of the sequence of shots that I'm going to make First goes egg, then avocado, then toast, then drink. By the way, a huge shout out to my buddy Kyle for helping me out shooting and also letting me mess up his kitchen. Shooting. Shooting was actually a lot of fun. This time it was a lot of improvisation. When you're in a great company, you get into this mood easily and the shooting process becomes very enjoyable. The most difficult shot was to toss an egg on the knife to make it crack in the middle. It took us a whole pack of eggs to make something usable. The one thing that I've learned for sure about filmmaking for the last couple of months that I better shoot way more that I'm going to actually use. One more thing about B-rolls like this slow motion rocks but it has to be some interesting motion so you gotta get creative editing this is my favorite part to be honest when it comes to filmmaking i'm most excited about post-production when i have some footage to edit i feel so excited to get to it and edit the hell out of it i have a full-time esl teacher job that takes huge amount of time but even when i work i have my laptop with me and i start shuffling those clips around whenever I have a break time. Anyway, let me share with you a couple of useful things that I've learned recently making this video. First of all, overlays. Overlay is basically another clip that you put on top of the main one and blend them together. Where to get them? On YouTube. There are plenty of free overlays that you can download and use for your craft. Let me quickly show you how it's done. Let's say we need some dust particles overlay. So we type in the search dust particles overlay. After we found something that seems suitable for our requirements, we copy the link and go to white2make.com. Paste the link here and download the highest quality available. That is going to be 1080p. If the overlay you found doesn't have 1080p, I would advise you to find another one that does. Once we have it downloaded, we take it into DaVinci Resolve that you can get absolutely for free on Blackmag Mac 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 on the website blackmagicdesign.com and drop our overlay on the top of the main clip. Then we go to the inspector and change the composite mode to screen. To adjust the color of our particles, we can go to the color grading tool and pull our gain and gamma to whatever color we need. Still talking about the post-production, another huge thing that I finally found courage to get my head around is color grading. This thing is by itself is a whole separate profession that people learn and master for years. And so far it had felt so intimidating to even approach it, but I finally started learning it. I can show you my note tree for this particular clip and it looks quite impressive. However, in all my previous videos, I used to have only one or two notes. Where did I learn it? As with everything else, I believe that if you want to learn something, you gotta find a person who is very good at it and just simply repeat after this person. For color grading, this person is Kazi. I leave a link for his channel below. He's a high level colorist, stylizer if you will, with admirable and original teaching skills. Each single video of him is a value bomb as he himself likes to say. So, if you want to learn about color grading, you gotta go to his channel. On my own, I can add one thing that I got to realize working on that breakfast b-roll. When you put your final work on internet, it turns out to be way darker than when editing. Plus, most people would watch it on their phones and most of us keep the brightness of our phones somewhere in the middle. To deal with it, I just opened the shadows a bit into my curves and I also created a brand new private IG profile for testing my final looks. All right, that's pretty much it. My rant is over. I hope you found it useful or at least entertaining. See you in the next video. Peace.